and welcome to Cupcake Addiction's Espresso Cappuccino Cupcake Tutorial where I'll be showing you how to make this gorgeous and super, super easy cappuccino style cupcake. Tools and equipment that we will be using today. I've got my little cappuccino cups or my little takeaway espresso cups and I just bought mine from a local $2 shop. I've got a couple of cupcakes. So for this size, I'm actually going to use two cupcakes per coffee or per cappuccino, but they do also sell these in the very, very small espresso shot style containers, and they would be perfect with a mini cupcake inside if you don't want quite so much cake for each of your guests. I've got a little chocolate shaker. This is actually the one that I use on my coffee in the mornings. That's just got some powdered chocolate, which I would use normally to make hot chocolate or just a sprinkle on top of my coffees. And I've got a little bit of our perfectly pieable buttercream frosting. I will leave a link to that recipe in the description box below, but I will also leave details of how I turned it from a straight vanilla frosting into a slightly caramel brownie coloured espresso flavoured frosting. So check that out if you want to go with the espresso flavoured frosting. Otherwise, just add a tiny bit of cocoa to give it that little bit of brown look while you're mixing it. So as I said, these are incredibly easy. What you want to do is just take the lid off your coffee or your, your little coffee cup. You want to unwrap both of your cupcakes. And then we're going to take that espresso frosting. I've put mine into a disposable piping bag, so I've pre-filled that. And I'm using that with a round open tip piping tip. So it doesn't really matter what size, but you do want a nice round one. I'm just going to put a bit of a dollop of that frosting in the bottom. And this is just so that when people get to the bottom of the cup, they're not missing out on any frosting. And it's also going to stick those cupcakes in. Take one of the cupcakes and just plonk it in. Push it down and that's going to stick it nicely to the bottom and then you want to take that espresso frosting and just swirl around so you've got a nice little layer of frosting there. Taking your next cupcake, push that one down and as you push that one down you'll see that that frosting around the edges actually starts to come up the sides of the cupcake a little bit and that's going to help seal it in and make sure there's frosting all over our cupcake. And then you want to take that frosting and what I'm going to do is one of our low smooth style swirls. So we do have a whole tutorial dedicated to this type of swirl, getting it absolutely perfect. You do want to make sure here that your cupcakes are inside the rim of that coffee cup. So if they've come up too high, trim them down so that you've got about a half a centimetre or so of space in between the top of the coffee cup and the top of the cupcake. And that's going to be so that our cupcake or our cappuccino froth doesn't extend too much out the top of the cup. So doing that low smooth swirl, I'm starting in the middle and I'm going to come around and out. I'm going to meet up with the edge of that cup and just taper off there. And then you want to take a little bit of chocolate powder and we're just going to finish it off. So with the chocolate powder, just give it a few nice little taps as you're tilting it so that it goes on really nicely and evenly. And give it a nice little even coat of that hot chocolate or powdered chocolate. How easy was that? Now I recommend serving these with a spoon because they will need to be eaten with a spoon rather than your traditional method. And I've also designed these gorgeous little coffee cupcake printable tags. So I just use a little bit of twine to tie that on and I think it makes it look absolutely gorgeous. People aren't going to go and try to drink them with their little tag on them. It's going to define them as a cupcake. But I think you'll agree they're a super easy, little bit of a gimmicky cupcake that doesn't quite look like what's on the inside. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. If you love it, make sure you subscribe to My Cupcake Addiction for lots more. And as always, thanks very much for watching. Mm -hmm.